Hey everybody, it's Harry from Slap Your Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. For those of you who wonder what I do with all the brisket trimmings I have from all the food I cook on my YouTube channel, I'm going to show you one of my favorite dishes. It's sort of a French-inspired burgundy wine beef dish. It's called beef bourguignon or burgundy brisket. And uh, it is a wonderful classic dish that's loved around the world. We have a hearty beef stew with some vegetables smoked in the pit with some red wine. And it's going to have some baby onions, some shallots, button mushrooms. At the end, I'm going to show you guys how I make some smoked lardons, which is bacon, to top this wonderful beef bourguignon dish. in my uh, beef pieces here. Now I'm going to add two cups of good red wine. It's best to use a burgundy wine if you have one. If not, just use any kind of a dry red California wine is fine. Put in the thyme, bay leaves, black peppercorns, and coriander. Seal, press the air out. After seeding in the bag, go ahead and mix it up and then let it sit in the refrigerator overnight. Even sometimes two days is better. We marinated our beef bourguignon overnight, or beef burgundy. We're ready now to give it a nice smoke. I'm going to use a half well pan to do so. And you want the meat to sit above the liquid so we will get some smoke and we'll rotate it and get all the different pieces to all get a nice even coat of smoke. Right, let's put the uh, burgundy beef in the pit. Our beef uh, bourguignon, or burgundy beef is getting some color. So you have the color on this side, and then this side is no color. You want to flip it around, take it out of the liquid, so that you can get some of that uh, bark done on the other side. So just flipping out the portion that's in the liquid, put it out onto the pit so we can get some of color. This one here, you can see, it is pretty charred, nice bark here. Now I'm gonna flip it around get the bottom side with a little bit of bark on it. It's been about five hours and our beef bourguignon is nicely smoked. Let's get ready to wrap it down. Let's go ahead and roast some uh, pearl onions and some mushrooms for the beef bourguignon. A little bit of olive oil, a little bit of barbecue rub. Let's put it in the pit. Once the meat is tender, you want to separate the brisket out. You can see the beautiful color from the burgundy wine. We have a little bit of the sauce here. I'll show you guys how we finish the sauce. We want to kind of remove all the thyme, remove the uh, bay leaves. And I like to kind of make the sauce smooth by using a propeller blender. Add one tablespoon of tomato paste. The taste and adjust seasonings and uh, the tomato paste uh, gives a wonderful tartness and a roundness to the flavor. I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, this product here from Miners. This is uh, my co-packer, soupbase.com. They make my rubs and uh, I like to use their products. They make a lot of different kinds of uh, soup bases. I'm going to put about one teaspoon in here to kind of amp up the flavor. This is a secret that chefs use. Um, they you know, use these kinds of bases to amp up the flavors of the foods. It saves a lot of time. Always creates a very wonderful, complex and rich flavor. There are many, many kinds of bases from pork base to beef or jus, demi-glaze, chicken, you name it, they all, they have it. So if you can go visit soupbase.com, check out their products. I think uh, they're also running some specials. So you might be able to get stuff at 20% off. Taste test. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, I like to just round up a tiny bit of uh, honey, just a touch of honey, just a little bit. And that acid in the tomato paste together with the honey, great combination. A little bit of that uh, au jus beef prep, which is a beef flavor. 
the bourguignon is absolutely going to be fantastic. I pit roasted some uh, pearl onions, get rid of some mushrooms, put it in there, combine everything together, simmer it a little bit for some beef bourguignon or beef burgundy perfection. All right, adding the final garnish of these lardons, make it really taste really good. Lots of bacon lardon, which is smoked bacon. Give it a taste test here. Have a piece of the uh, brisket here. Looks absolutely amazing. Have it with a little bit of the mashed potato. Absolutely great flavor. It's a beans you have to wait, okay? All right, brisket's fantastic. Great flavor. And it uh, has uh, that hint of smoke. That red wine marinade went to the meat because it was sitting overnight. So this is a great way to repurpose any leftover brisket trimmings you have into a fantastic bourguignon dish. The lardons really add a nice touch to it, kind of like a little salty crunch snack uh, of lardon, which is the bacon, smoked bacon. All right, let's give it a try the mushrooms here, smoked in the pit. Try the uh, pearl onions, very sweet and juicy, bursting in flavor. Enough of me talking now. Let's see if Mr. Beans wants to have some. So I prepared a little plate for Mr. Beans of this wonderful beef bourguignon dish. And uh, we'll see if he likes it. All right, Beans. We're going to have brisket a different way today with a little bit of burgundy wine. You want to try the beef bourguignon? Okay, go. Scarfing it down. A little bit of potato. A little bit of lard on, actually. More beef, brisket, leaving his carrot. Is he eating carrot? Okay, he's eating the carrot. Good boy, Beans. All right, excellent job. Thanks for watching my video. Hope you found this video interesting. If you have any questions, please go ahead and ask in the video description below. I want to say a thank you to all my Patreons, helping me keep the channel going so I can provide free content on YouTube. If you guys like uh, this type of content, please go over to Patreon. Check out my exclusive behind the scenes. Zoom classes, one-on-one -on -one coaching, and very, very much more. See you guys in the next video.